want to welcome back. On this one, it says, nobody can stop Kuka from speaking against bad governance, says Ona Iyeka. Ona Iyeka said that he believed that genuine religious leaders had a role to play in politics, which included advancing the cause of the masses and speaking truth to power in the name of God. All right, the news in details. Emeritus Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, His Eminence John Cardinal Onayekan says, Nobody can stop the Bishop of Sokoto, Most Reverend Matthew Kuka, from speaking against bad governance in the country. The presidency described President Muhammad Buhari's administration bashing by Kuka as ungodly, accusing him of playing partisan politics in his father in his Easter message. All right, but Onaye Khan, who appeared as a guest on AIT breakfast show Kakaki monitored by Vanguard in Abuja, said that he believed that genuine religious leaders had a role to play in politics, which included advancing the cause of masses and speaking truth to power in the name of God. According to the statement, it says, with all due respect to whoever is speaking for the presidency, he has a wrong idea of politics. Maybe for him, politics has been just a game they play in the middle of the night. If you understand politics, as to how you organize and manage the community for the common good, we are all supposed to be politicians. Does that mean that whenever we religious leaders tell the truth and work to make our country better, we, sh we should shut up because we are playing politics? No, we refuse. We will continue to talk. In the old project of nation building and uh, good governance, people have different roles to play. The role of Mr. President is, of course, the most important in terms of organizing everything. The role of religious leaders, if you are a genuine one, should be to be able to speak in the name of God. So let no one stop Kuka and other religious leaders from speaking from their hearts. They cannot force you, the government, anyways. Kuka is not preparing a coup against Buhari. He is only concerned about the people he says every day. Kuka is speaking for so many who do not have a voice. What we expected from the presidency has to hear what Kuka had to say and take the issues one by one, maybe give explanations. If there is a need for such and hopefully consider considering his message in its plans, Onayekan said. All right, speaking on the joint call by former President Olusha Gumobasanjo and Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi for amnesty to bandit and terrorist, Oyanekan said the move would amount to a cosmetic solution to the problems of insecurity and breed more criminals in parts of the country. All right, and then on to this, it has been said that nobody can stop Kuka from speaking against bad governance. Or Nayekan has said so far. All right, and then that has been it on this one. Meanwhile, there's been a lot of reactions on today's. Okay, and then according to Adia Yegbinga Olabode, he has said, well, exactly great pastors and imams are supposed to to be telling the truth to the authority like Father Kuka, but in Nigeria, most powerful men of God keep quiet. They do visit Asorok and still pray for the president and they won't condemn their failures, but at the end, they won't come back in vain. 
And uh, interestingly, on the issue of insecurity, our religious leaders don't rely only on prayers alone like we, the worshippers. They always go about with security escorts like police, soldiers, civil defense, etc. in Nigeria. It's just not good to be a common man. All right, that has been said by Adeye Yebenga. All right, okay, and then according to Ife Olua, Ali Tijesu says, Onayekon is right. Ministers of God are to be known for their fearless and truthful words with dates as well. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, we celebrate those that are involved in the business of getting connection, not minding the truth. And the only time you see them shout is when they have been sidelined. The Bishop Kuka are red. Okay, and uh, it's also said here that he always fly to UK for medical attention. All right, according to Omolonye Ego, says he always fly to UK for medical attention. His wife to Dubai for the same purpose, and uh, his son was treated in Germany when he was involved in a motorbike accident, while those that risk their lives in dilapidated hospitals in Kano, Yobe, Bauchi, and even in Zamfara are busy constituting unnecessary political nuisance on social media, all in the name of his supporters. May their lives remain like, like Nigeria under this man. Okay, and then Eze Henry has said that Fulani claimed responsibility for attack on autumn, police said they lied. Boko Haram said they shot down Air Force jet. Air Force said they lied. Dozens were murdered in Ebony, and uh, IGP was quiet, and days after, no arrest have been made. A prison was attacked just last night, and uh, he has quickly found his voice because it is southeast, the conquered territory. IPOB and ESN have been pronounced guilty even without investigation. Amadaiwa will pay you an unscheduled visit one day. All right, this has been said by Eze Henry. And then according to Ayinu Moses, Babalola says, nobody can prevail against the truth. For this reason, Bishop Kuka was sent into the world to preach the truth. God bless Nigeria. Shola Judge has said that once you are not praising the current federal ministry government with their fake democratic veil, they will all stand against you in harms. Divide the expired amalgamation for peace and progress. They refused because of the free oil money in the east refining in the north plus waterways money from the south. Unfortunately, the goat has now run to the wall. It's fight to finish. Okay, and then a lot have been said so far onto this one. My people, a lot of comments keep coming in onto this. But what more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.